What's going on, guys? Episode 130. 130? Episode 130 of the 1% Mindset Podcast. Man, I am your host, Mike. I'm extremely, extremely excited to be with you today. Today's not going to be a long podcast, right? I'm not going to speak for an hour or 30 minutes. You know, I'm going to try to give it a quick 10 minute segment because this is important what I'm going to say. First and foremost, if this is your first time listening to this podcast, thank you, thank you so much for listening, tuning in. You know, one thing that I I said I was going to do and, you know, a man who lives by his word is a man that you can trust. Um, But one thing I said was, I want to drop this podcast every week. What have I done? It's been every 10 days, 11 days. It's been inconsistent and that's on me. And moving forward, that will change. I guarantee you that will change because a man that stands by his word is a man of integrity, a man that you can trust. And doing this podcast, I want to make sure that you can you can trust me. And unless something happens, I will communicate it in a real way. So let's get started with this podcast, right? Um, you know, it, it's funny. This, this podcast, I said, is going to be short, but it, it's really around... Seeing yourself for who you are, right? Most people are gonna aren't gonna listen to this, right? Because I'm not talking about sports on this podcast. I'm not talking about entertainment. I'm not talking about you know the the whole uh, media construct of entertainment that takes away the focus of what we're actually supposed to be doing. This is going to be some real world value, and I want you to, t- if you're listening, first of all, thank you, but just just tune in with me for a second, right? Because we have, you know, this is about relationships, and sometimes we have relationships that we don't cherish, that we don't appreciate, right? I was, I was speaking to a friend, um, and I was in a personal situation where, you know, I asked somebody, I said, I'm very aware of the value that I bring to you. Are you aware of the value that you bring to me, right? And I'm not saying that this person doesn't bring value, and I know what value they bring, but are they aware? Right, because you know we tend to have these relationships that we 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 hold on to that's comfortable that we enjoy, and whether it's romantic relationships, personal like friendship, business relationships, whatever the relationships are, we tend to hold on to it, um, and, and it, it sometimes it beco- it can become or feel really transactional in certain in certain instances. Right, but when you have relationships. Relationship, it has to be both a give and take. Now, I'm not saying that it has to be 50-50, right? Like some instances, right, especially in romantic relationships, it's 60-40 or 70-30. You know, my cousin used to say something to me, um, and it made a lot of sense. He said, um, even, not equal. Now, here, he said even, not equal. And why did he say that? He was saying that because sometimes... Based on the season, a person can be in a space where, you know, like the partner, the other part, the other person in the relationship, it may have to be 70 30 for a season, right? Or 60 40. Does, does that mean it's not an even relationship? No, right? Even doesn't always mean 50 50. So I'm not saying that things, like, hear me out. I'm not saying that things have to be 50 50. You have to pay 50% of the bills or you need to provide 50% of this value or I have to own 50% of the company. Like, even doesn't necessarily mean equal. The dynamics can change. The balance can change based on the season, based on what a person is bringing, based on the situation. And I'm fully, fully aware of that. Right? So I'm, I'm not telling you that it needs to look like that. However, in certain seasons there has to be value across the board things cannot be okay in one space for one person to do but not okay for the other there shouldn't be certain expectations for one person but not certain expectations for the other right things get to look similar in a way that's effective and that makes sense primarily because it should it's because it should be, right? There's there's an old saying, you know, what's good for the goose is good for the gander, right? And it's 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 an old uh, saying, uh, probably from the Caribbean, to be honest, because that's where I hear it all the time. But meaning, look, if it's okay for you to do it, 
it's also okay for me to do it, right? It doesn't matter your gender, your race, your financial status. Like, there gets to be some boundaries across the board that make sense. It, it, it just, it has to make sense because if not, then you're setting a bad precedent. If you're the one that's doing it and I'm looking at you, if you're the one that's doing it, stop. Because you're going to be faced, what this does is, it's going to put you in a situation that you will have to see yourself. You know, one of my favorite, um, one of my favorite motivational speakers, his name is Inky Johnson, right? And for those, I'll tell you his story real quick, really quick. He was a cornerback uh, football player for uh, the, the Tennessee Volunteers, right? Projected first round pick. His senior year, he goes for a routine tackle. He had a couple games left. I think it's 10. I don't remember. Um, boom. Gets injured. I think he tears some kind of artery, or a artery burst in like his clavicle area somewhere around here, and basically he, his arm is paralyzed. His arm is paralyzed. Now, his trajectory, his mind was football, NFL, taking care of my family, instant multimillionaire, right? Because you get drafted in the first round, millionaire. That's just that's just what it is, typically. As soon as that happened, things changed. And he wasn't able to cope with it for a really long time, he said. But he had to look at himself to see how thing, how he was, what things were, and how can I adjust to be better. He was so focused on the NFL, he missed his gift of teaching. He missed his gift of preaching. He gift his he missed his gift of inspiring. Sometimes your your route is changed. Because you have a bigger gift. You have something bigger that's supposed to happen for you. It's just that simple. Right? And if you if you don't look at that and see that, you're going to be stuck because you want it to look a certain way. You can't be uncomfortable. You know, it, it has to it has to be okay for you. But at what point in time are you saying, like, you know what? I am okay being uncomfortable i'm okay you know being that 70 percent of this relationship because it's now it's my season i'm okay with adjusting how i move i'm okay i'm okay and that's not it's not okay if you're not able to see that it's not okay if you're, you're, you're setting expectations for someone that you don't have for yourself. It's not okay. Right? You get to look at yourself. See how, are you, you know, it's funny. I actually need a haircut, right? So for those of you who are watching this on YouTube, you can see like, man, Mike, you look rough. You need a haircut. Absolutely. You know, Deion Sanders used to say, when you look good, you feel good. When you feel good, you play good. When you play good, they pay good. Right? He was a football player for uh, the Atlanta Falcons, the Dallas Cowboys. Right, and he he was all like, take care of your grooming, cut your nails, eat the right food, be in a space in a position to be of your word so you can perform at your very best no matter what. Because how you do anything is how you do everything. Right, you've heard that before. It's not this is not a mind blowing statement, but it's absolutely true. My old mentor mentor Anthony. He used to say that to me all the time, and he goes six months into training, uh, I don't know if it's Taekwondo, Jiu-Jitsu, whatever it is. Six months, never did it before. Six months training, hard-earned training, made no excuses. His first tournament, he got a silver, got a silver medal. He said, man, I wanted that goal. But he had focused to that one thing without excuses. That was it because he wanted to be a better human being. He didn't make excuses. He didn't, oh, you know, feel. No, I, I'm looking at me too, right? I'm not just speaking. I'm speaking to me because it shows up in my trading. It shows up in my relationships. It, it shows up in certain areas. But the awareness piece is so important because I would say with awareness comes change. You have the opportunity to change in a way that makes sense for you if you so choose. If you choose. But if not, then that's on you. So 
you know, I'm going to wrap this up, right? I didn't want it to be longer than 10 minutes. It's a little over 10 minutes. This is a, I'm calling, I'm calling you out. This is a call out for you. This is a call out to you. You now have the opportunity to change, to work on you, to see where you're, where you're slowing down, where you're faltering, where your energy is going in your relationships. Are you in relationships you're not supposed to be in? If so, why? Are you, the energy you're putting out, are you receiving the same thing? And typically the answer is supposed to be yes. Whatever you're putting out, you're supposed to receive. So if you're putting out good energy, you're supposed to receive that. But what if you're putting out good energy and you're receiving bad energy, then what? That's a you thing. Why are you afraid to leave that space and that situation? At what point in time does that alter, does that change? Because now it's a self-worth issue for you. Or if you're putting out bad energy and you're receiving bad energy, well, now you know why. Right? You get to treat situations and circumstances. Life is a reflection of who you are and what you put out. Life is a direct reflection of that. And it will not change. The only way for that to change is for you to change. You want to get around high value people, become a high value person. Be in a space that allows you to attract those kind of people. Be in relationships with those kind of people. Right? You should be exhausted feeling like you're giving more than you're getting. Why is that? You need to take a step back and focus on you 100%. You gotta be exhausted. You have to be exhausted not living up to your full potential. You have to be. I'm exhausted for you. You must be tired of not being treated how you're worth, not being paid how you're, what you feel you're worth. It's gotta be exhausting. But how do you change that? How do you fix that? You gotta make adjustments, fam. It has to happen. It has to start with consistency. It has to start with pride. It has to start with a little bit of arrogance, right? That says, I believe in me, no matter what. I'm okay to make the hard decisions because if I don't make those hard decisions, it's going to come back to bite me because what's supposed to be will be regardless, period. So. Anyway, fam, absolutely love you guys. It's always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Stay tuned. Look, look for these. Look for these podcasts every single Tuesday. Every Tuesday, uh, the plan is to drop a podcast. If anything will change, I'll definitely let you guys know. Of course, I love you. Peace.